friends, hi, hello, how are you? Welcome or welcome back to the Curvy Chronicles. My name is Courtney and I'm so glad you found your way to my little corner of the internet. Uh, guys, it's Meal Plan Monday, so let's get into it. Okay, so I am already out and about in town because I had an appointment today, I have a lot of going on, so... I did not make my grocery list at home, nor did I write my meal plan down in my planner. I think I gotta read, I gotta rethink that sometime. Anywho, so I've used envelopes from in my car, from mail that needs junk mail, basically. Um, so here is the plan for this week. Um, we are finally away from no dad dinners. My husband's going to be eating dinner with us. So we're going back to our regularly, um, scheduled fun things not just spaghetti mac and cheese and hot dogs and chicken nuggets you know the usual no dead dinners okay so this week i kind of wrote down i went through pinterest wrote down a few things we are going to try these creamy bacon pork chops with with the side of veggies they look really good it's like pork chops braised in like a cream sauce with bacon i mean you had me a pork bacon pigs cream sounds good <clears throat> That's what she said. <laughs> and then we're going to try this Southwest Chicken Alfredo, which sounds really good. Uh, my husband loves Chicken Alfredo, and we also like things that are, like, spicier and whatnot. So we're going to try that. We're going to do the ever-famous burger tacos. Those were made the rounds last year. It was, like, the Big Mac tacos. Um, but we are going to do burger tacos. And then I have spaghetti squash in my basement that I totally forgot we grew last year and have been keeping in storage. So we are going to do a Tuscan Chicken Spaghetti Squash. I think I've done it one other time. I don't know if I've ever shared it with you guys. Um, regardless, it's going to be delicious. So, uh, we are going to do that. And then the last day, I think we're going to either pull from the freezer or potentially do some steaks and veggies. My local grocery store does have steak on sale um, for Father's Day, but I don't know. We're going to kind of see because there's a couple other things I need to pick up. So we're at Winco. We're going to head into the store. I am stopping at multiple places this time because there are different things on sale at different places. Um, plus there are some things at Walmart I need. So we, I have to pick up a wedding card. Um, I need to get I want to get some, um, of the skinny syrup, um, chocolate and caramel sauce and that I can only find at Walmart. Um, but we're going to pick up some stuff here at Winco. We'll head to Walmart. They are back to back. So for me, it's like not a long distance to drive, which is great. And then on my way home is my local grocery store. So that's what we're going to do. You guys ready? I'm ready. It's actually warm and I need to get out of this car. So let's go, let's go inside with my makeshift grocery list. what just happened in there but this is like a testament to how expensive groceries are those few things was fifty dollars now i will say the heavy whipping cream is six bucks so, or 550 so that does put a chunk in there but and i did buy quite a few sauces because we are doing ribs for father's day so we need barbecue sauce because i was in fact out of barbecue sauce and it was a better deal here than it was at my local grocery store because they do have it on sale but it's um actually was cheaper here so um not sure like where all of that happened what all happened but we yep 51 just yeah 51 dollars. so we have 24 uh, and change left um i need to get um 
hamburger, which is on sale at my local grocery store. And what else was I going to pick up? I was going to price tortillas at Walmart. And then I have to get a wedding card and those syrups. Uh, I think in my cash stuffing for this week, I do say that, um, oh, we'll have leftover. That was a lot. We are, uh, God, I didn't just, shit's expensive, guys. Shit is expensive. Anyway, uh, we're going to go to Walmart now. We're going to pick up a few things. I got to pick up a garden sprayer thing, too, because my children have either disposed of ours um, broken them or lost them. So we are out of, we don't have like a spray nozzle. So I'm gonna pick up one of those, obviously pay for out of garden. Uh, wedding card comes out of, uh, gifts. Actually, no wedding card comes out of buffer because we're taking our gift money and just putting the cash in the card. Um, yeah, let's go to Walmart. I'm like, my bubble is burst. I did not think that was going to be 50 bucks. I even bought a small watermelon, a small one. So, to Wally World. I have to state, I just drove through the Walmart parking lot and the number of people who literally walk into the crosswalk without looking, without looking. Some of them were mothers with children. You're telling me you're not looking both ways? Okay, off my soapbox. So I saw this on Instagram. It looked hilarious. I want it for my birthday party, so. Out of birthday. These are awesome for making your coffee a little more fancy without the added calories. Okay, Walmart was like a hodgepodge of all different things. We had garden, we had birthday, we had health and medical, we had grocery, we had buffer. So, I didn't film hardly anything. I did pick up that game because I wanted that for my birthday party. Um, so that's gonna come out of birthday. I did pick up the spray nozzles for Cody. I picked up some protein powder for me because I've been making protein coffee. I've been trying to increase my protein so that I can decrease my LBs a little bit. Um, yeah, and then I did find, I did have to get, um, I did find wedding cards. Um, I had to get two, one for me, one for my mom. My mom gave a gift, like a physical gift. My mom crochets like I do. And so she crocheted an afghan, so a blanket for my sweet friend that's getting married. And yeah, uh, now it's my local grocery store. We only have um, hamburger to pick up, which is on, on sale. So we're gonna go pick us up a couple pounds of hamburger. And then we're calling it a day. I do have to pick up apple juice too because we are smoking ribs this weekend and that my husband's recipe requires apple juice. So I'll add that in there, but that'll come out of our Father's Day budget. So kind of a hodgepodge here at the end, but yeah, let's finish her out. Okay friends, so walked in for ground beef and apple juice. Totally forgot they had avocados on coupon. And that was why I bought the hash brown patties was to do like avocado toast, but with hash brown patties because it is um, surprisingly lower calorie, higher, um, it keeps you fuller longer. Weird, I know. So we have spent our entire grocery budget this week, but the best thing is, is we did not go over. I spent it right down to the last penny meaning I literally pulled change to cover everything. But um, I got everything on my list. I ended up finding um, tortillas here and they were on sale. Um, everything I bought today was on sale. So the hamburger was on sale. The avocados were, f the they were like the big Haas avocados. They were four for $5, um, which is pretty good for our area. And then the, um, carb balance tortillas because I am trying to, they are a little bit higher in protein and a little less heavy um they were on sale for three dollars so that was pretty good i thought um so yeah i got everything now you might be asking courtney you didn't buy steaks and that was part of your meal plan you my friends are correct so what we are going to do is we are going to um with the two pounds of hamburger that i bought um we will probably end up doing tacos one night so we will do um our 
smash burger tacos, burger tacos, whatever you want to call it. And then we will either do tacos one night or nachos. Actually, you know what? I have Doritos from the last time I went to Costco that have been sitting at the back of the fridge that I just recently opened. We are going to have nachos. So forget steaks. We are having nachos and I have everything I need for that at home. I have salsa. I have sour cream. Um, I have lettuce. I have olives. I have onion. I got onion today. So we have everything we need in order to make nachos. So friends, that is all she wrote today. All I'm going to say is, holy shit, groceries are getting more and more expensive, which is why it is so important that we work very hard at meal planning and sticking to our meal plan. That is why I share these, so that you guys can see that it is achievable to do groceries at $75 a week. It is tough. It is getting tougher. Um, part of my problem is I'm just buying random stuff, but it's okay. We are... Um, figuring it out we're working through it and this is why we put ourselves on a budget because I will tell you back in the day I would go and I would say oh that looks good oh this looks good I wouldn't even shop on an uh, like an empty stomach and I still would walk out spending a couple hundred dollars and now I have really curved how I buy things anyway enough rambling from me um as always recipes will all be linked down in the description um there are actually quite a few this week most weeks are like fairly simple. Well, we've been doing no dead dinners, so they've been all the simple. But today, this week, they are all going to be linked down in the description. Um, yeah, friends, if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep hanging out, hit that subscribe button. And as always, friends, until next time, remember to spread kindness like glitter. Bye!